Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy Rob from Panther and today I want to show you how to create Spirography. I think that's the right name, the correct name. <laughs> but anyways, uh, if, you're, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get updated with new daily tutorials. So let's see what we can do. Um, first thing first, let's select our circle. The ellipse tool, press Shift plus Alt and uh, create your own circle. Make sure the stroke is, uh, I mean, the stroke is selected. Let's increase the size. Actually, the, the ring, I mean, this one is too big a little, so I'm gonna scale it down and zoom in. Uh, yeah, this should be good. I gotta go to if, to the effects. This, uh, what is that? Distort and transform and zigzag. Click previews. I can decrease the reach per seven or what is that to one i gotta go not to zero to one and click smooth the size is gonna be around this so make it bend you know make it bend a little i'm gonna click ok i'm gonna create a new copy because i always do I'm gonna go to object, expand, and I'm going to repaint with a new color like this, this fancy color. From here, I'm gonna go to the rotate tool and double click on it. And just click copy, minus six degrees, good for me. I'm gonna click copy and press control D until it rotates fully like that. And now we have a spirography, or what is that called? Circle, in a different way. So yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day. Bye-bye.